we're going to look at uh, how to check anchors on some sandstone. Uh, obviously, on this type of rock, you are uh, predominantly top roping. Some people will solo, but most people will top rope. So you need to make sure that the anchors that you're you're using, you're clipping into, uh, are good. They're sound, uh, and you can you can trust them as far as you can as far as you can tell from a, a quick inspection. So there's two types of anchors that you're going to be using when you're rigging top ropes on some sandstone and that is bolts and trees. Most of the time you're going to be using bolts but in some cases there aren't bolts at the top of the crag and you'll be using a tree but we'll, we'll run through bolts first. First thing you need to know is that bolts on southern sandstone don't really work the way that they do on other rock types. They're much more um, reliant on mechanical camming in of the of the bolt than uh, using the, the sort of resin or the cement that's that's um, used to, to hold them in the hole uh, they, they won't really resist an outward pull very easily so whereas a, a bolt in in limestone or another hard rock uh, will will resist an outward pull straight out onto it really quite well that just isn't the case on on southern sandstone when you're checking them you basically need to be sure that the rock surrounding them is is all sound it's not going to kind of break away when you weight it you want to make sure the bolt's not wobbling too much in its placement but but essentially it's being mechanically pulled in there so so if it feels pretty strong in the direction of pull then you should be good to go obviously these bolts are placed in soft rock uh, and whilst they're they're perfectly suitable for top roping they really are absolutely unsuitable for anything other than climbing on. There's been cases in the past of people rigging slack lines, uh, zip wires, things like that with them, and you're putting absolutely phenomenal amount of force through the anchor with that. Uh, and with them being in soft rock, it has actually ripped all of the rock in front of the placement off when people have, have uh, rigged that, that kind of thing up before. So absolute no go uh, to use the bolts and the crags as anchors for that sort of thing. So the other, other type of anchor you might encounter are trees and you know similar to on any other crag you basically want to give them a good visual inspection make sure that the, the tree's nice and healthy it's got a good root system you're basically looking for a, a tree that's a bit bigger than the sort of width of your of your thigh that sort of size upwards is, is usually fairly reliable if it's well rooted and if it's if it's a healthy tree it's not a rotten tree and when you when you're using that you obviously just want to put sling rope whatever it is you're using to as your attachment point to the tree and make sure that it's it's low down on the tree so that you're you're reducing the leverage on it the last point to make is uh these these bolts are, are regularly checked by a team of volunteers down here but if you do notice a, a bolt that's moving a lot or there's cracks in the rock in front of it um anything that that is a little bit suspicious about it it's definitely worth dropping an email to the bmc to let them know and we'll check it out.